Ooh. Oh, I'm on the wrong. <laughs> we can put the camera back on. Hang on. Um. Oh my god, hush. Um, I would definitely drink a lavender latte. I'm not sure I would drink a pistachio latte, but they sound. It sounds very intriguing. Never understood the appeal of pistachio flavor. I know that a lot of things come in a pistachio flavor. Never really understood why it's good for like things to be flavored that. But I I defer to people who like it. I I'm not going to yuck anybody's yum. Lavender sounds fantastic. Hi Bumblebee, good to see you. Um, for some reason the menu is very loud. Um, you added some cinnamon. Oh. Cool. I do like if you let it go though, it just becomes Will. The menu fades away. Very nice. Anyway. Let's go see what we were up to. I can't remember. I saved ready to... Oh no, we went... Yeah, we went into the lockbox. Okay. So. We want to follow the power lines to the power plant, but we've got side mission shit to do too. We've got Dark Star. We need... Oh, Blackstone. That's the pages in the ground, so that's fine. Uh, we've got an aggressive wolf, but he is up by the mine. We don't want to go that way. William, calm down. Oh, I can open Black Rock Locker number three. Forgot about that. Creek. That'll come in handy. A kniff and a stem. Oh, and a report. I helped build Black Rock. Helped build, bring steel and bricks in from the mainland. But we also sourced rock and stone from some quarries at the foot of that big mountain. I guess that's why we're, we were all there. Black Rock Mountain. There were mining folk all around that valley, so it was easy to find help to put the bones up on that prison. Some died, some would wander off, but we all got paid and the thing got done. Can't say much for the mean look of the place, but we built her strong. Nice enough place in the summer months, Great Bear, but those winters were evil things, I tell you. Wind came whipping down from the mountain, screaming after you. Hey, Bavella! Stasha was, was having a moment with that super expensive chocolate bar that everybody's forgotten about. Ah, because I remember just when I was growing up, like pistachio ice cream, everybody was really obsessed with it, and I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why you like it, but I, I'm not going to yuck your yum. You, you should like it. Okay, so I think we should go to this cache while we go around here to get this one. And then we can make our way to these bad boys. So I think that's the plan. We're heading for this one. Pistachio gelato. Mm, does sound intriguing. Right. Did we determine that we were too heavy? Didn't I store stuff here? Did I? Did I not? Did I just store stuff in a locker? Or have I just been, I've just been storing stuff at the exit, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. We'll just we'll just go back and do that. We have we have a bunch of bullets. So, it is windy, so I'll probably use a flare. I remember being spooked by a, by a wolf not long before I came in here. I'm ready to shoot some bad boys if I have to, but I feel like I should save my bullets for the uh, annoying. Why are you so freaking loud, bro? Pistachio cannolis. Holy cannoli. Oh, do you hear it die? I just heard one of the wolves die. Because I did have a, a hatchet battle. With a wolf. On my way in. Also, um, I mentioned this last time, but the the sound in Wintermute appears to be broken. All wolves sound like they are directly behind your face when they are miles away. It's it's really odd, and they need to patch it. Because look, he still sounds like he's right in my ear. Pretty sure he is. All the way back over there, over there. Yeah, he sounds like he's right in my ear. Can't go down here yet because the game doesn't want me to, even though it is open. Yay, interview, nice. 
Who are you barking at? You can't reach me. You big numpty. Okay, bye. Have fun, Goofy. Very slow for some reason. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of this container is compared to the one inside, so I might just take a few things I might actually need later. I know where they are. Oh, actually, just let's just move everything inside and then we know where it all is. Do I need water or anything? It feels bad to waste this um, layer. Not really. It's a delightful sound, I know. We might be able to use it briefly as we leave, but I'm trying to be quick. Those are defrosted. Numpty's a great word, yeah. Big fan of it. Big Scottish common word out of my husband's mouth. Alright, well. 32.47 is fine. I do have my heater on, which is annoying because it's freaking October, but it's just a little brisk in here. I hope no one is anywhere near or has family or friends in the path of hurricanes and flooding and things going on in the states at the moment. <clears throat> Been quite uh, interesting watching it all on TikTok and stuff. Survival my players, yeah, we're pretty, I, yeah, efficient. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm pretty efficient, but I'm also like, I, I, I'm not very serious about it, I guess. Like, I just want to play the story. Like, I'm not trying to be great at it. Now, it's literally just where the road veers off. Okay. Yeah, they're not catching any breaks. There are a lot of stubborn people who are like, I'm not leaving my home, so... I don't know, wolf eating a deer, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what happens. They did downgrade uh, Milton, which is good. Slightly lower category now. I just want to throw this flare at him just because I can. Because, you know, screw wolves. Suck it. Get rid of that noisy thing. My um, hot tub has been unplugged for the foreseeable future. What is up there? Let's take a little climbing point up here. I want to have a look. Um, there was an incident with the power point that it's plugged into and ended up the face plant ended up being broken. Can't currently plug anything into that power point and the cable won't actually reach any further. So I guess it's just been retired for now. Oh, there's a climbing point. Now, does anybody remember where this cache is? I can't remember if it's up the top. But yes, it's definitely not that straightforward. People have a lot of animals. They have, you know, big families. There's no gas. There's nowhere to go. Um on the roads like I get it but 
Oh, that's right. It's up by the power thing. Work. But, um, yeah, there's some very stubborn people <laughs> putting all of their business online and saying that we're all, the people who are evacuated are just overreacting. Right, well, I was in the right sort of <laughs> area, and I... I was right the first time. Yeah. Like in New Zealand, if we've got like a tsunami warning, like we all go up the hill. <laughs> it's a bit different. There's people, a lot of people who are like in high rise apartments who are like, well, I'm fine, I'm in an apartment. And then there's all these experts saying, no, you're not. Your apartment is not safe. Apartments get ripped to shreds by hurricanes. Land fuel could be useful. Well, no, Wilbur, but I don't think I need a hacksaw either. Like, I'm not going to be chopping down saplings unless I decide I'm going to make arrows, which I don't think I will. These these torches are all terrible. All right, so where is this thing? Maybe it is a climb down. All right, we'll give it a go. I do not remember. Yeah, there are hills in Florida, but it's getting inland. Yeah. There's people... Oh, hey, there's the well fed. There's people, like, um, setting their horses free, too, because they have the best chance of survival if they just run free and, like, spray painting their phone numbers on them and stuff. That's really sad. I'm going to work this out here. Because this is the is, looks like it's above that walkway that you take the road, so it doesn't look like it's down. It looks like it's it's, but it's, me. it's for twenty six months. Oh my gosh, resubbed for six months at tier one because that's what we all do to each other now. It's so nice. Thank you. Here for a few before you have to leave. That's all good, my friend. I'm trying to figure out where this cache is. It might be on the other side of the rocks, I suppose. I could just go around the road and see. I can't remember where it is. I Actually, having the map is more detrimental sometimes than not having it because it makes you go, but it's around here, right? But it's around here, right? There's a very big wolf. Also, am I in pain right now? What? Oh, I am. Like, why is it so blurry? Ooh, chicken noodle soup. That's a Timby, and he's about to get shot in the face if he causes me... No, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the noisemakers, because I haven't used them since I last played this. So I forget they exist. Fairly effective. Made him run. It's two, two, half the meter gone. That's freaking loud though. Like, I've got tinnitus in the game and in real life. I mean, I have it anyway, but. Bye, guys. That was nice and straightforward. So I'm going to go down here and double back and see if it's around here. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. Chicken noodle soup sounds so good. I really don't like these headphones. They're not, they're not the right thing for gaming. But they're my only option today. If I go... No, it is up there. How? How? What? How? Hmm. 
No! I just did this! Y'all. Now they're just calmly walking. Like, where, where are you, dicks? What's with the music? <laughs> it's not the right time, guys. Are you above me? Ow! Oh, you and your butt. A plaintive guitar ballad while you're fighting off Timberwolves. <laughs> so rude, you guys. I do not remember this piece of music either. How does it want me to go up here? I do not remember. There's a rope. Okay, fine. Isn't that the rope that I climbed down, though? That's the climbing point that I went to. Isn't it? Yeah, that's the climbing point that I was looking at before. I'm not wasting no more time on this nonsense. That's the climbing point with the dead guy where I was... At least I think it was. Is there a dead guy? Outside a cave. Or is there a dead wolf up here that I sh the one one of the ones that I shot? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the dead wolf tracks he's been running. Yes, this is just the climbing point. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I have oh I have blood loss. Following my own blood trail. That'll be it. He didn't say a word. He was all like, I'm just gonna keep quiet until she realizes that she's bleeding. Or he. She realizes I'm bleeding to death. <sighs> Bye, burp. Take care. <sighs> I'm a doofus. Blue flares seem to be my best bet for these guys. I just have to keep finding them. I just genuinely feel like that, that there's a path that, they, that I'm missing that they think that I can get to. There is. Good old TLD. Never completely straightforward. Sorry you have to listen to Wilbur panting, but you know, that's what he does. Alright. Up here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's up to the... yeah, okay. Alright, bud. You're okay. I'm sorry I made you jog. 
He didn't know he was going to be in the apocalypse. He did not do any cardio. Other thing I could do is throw stones at them a bit more, but I mean, it doesn't do that much. There it is. Just what I need. Hey! Being useful. Okay, all of those things are things that I want. So I will be happy about that. Twenty-three bullets will definitely help with the um That'll come in handy. Nah. Nah. Neither of those things will come in handy, will. Not right now, anyway. Might give him a coffee even though it's cold, just so I don't have to like give him rest immediately. So we're gonna head now to Yeah, let's just head literally straight as the crow flies. We're heading we're following the lines and going to the substation. And we're bound to have more Timby problems on the way. It took me an annoyingly long amount of time to find. I do wish they'd give us all of the winter mute music in survival, but I kind of understand why they don't, but it's really nice. It's also very frequent in, in uh, story mode. It's nowhere near as frequent in survival. Gonna follow the power lines. This one will come in handy. Oh, a new pry bar might be handy. I think mine's pretty crappy. Yeah. I do like how revolver is the first option on two. First weapon to come up. I remember them being quite difficult around the substation, so we'll just... Oh, can we even do this? This looks like a recipe for getting stuck. Oh no, there we go. Ugh. wonder if they... I got the top first. Does this have a transmitter now in survival mode? The you repair? I haven't been here. What have we here? They really want me to have gunpowder. Is that because I can make more noisemakers once I get to the recipe? Once I get once I get to the recipe? I don't really think I will be doing that. Assuming that's the reason. Another hacksaw. I wonder if Internet's next game would like this in a storm and survival. Yeah. It'd be better if it was integrated, I think. I don't love that it's two games because this game's team have not been updating it with the same quality of life fixes as um, survival, I'm pretty sure, because they're working on the fifth episode. Abandoned. Substation control and shelter for me, anyway. Thanks, Will. I like the story. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Linda, I know this is a touchy subject for you, given it's just you and him trading shifts this season, but please take a hard look at Sam when you see him. His check-ins are getting more infrequent and less incoherent by the week. Less coherent by the week. We're doing our best down here in Central to get you guys some more help this year, but you know how that goes these days. I don't think these will be better right now. Yeah, no. Find the power company workers. <laughs> use this i actually don't have a jacket i'm pretty sure yeah we have a crappy windbreaker 50 percent waterproof though so i think i'll probably put this on as a warmth layer yeah there we go game loves to give you sewing kits too I've got so many I wonder if i can drop any of this gear not happening bud I'll swap these things, but there we go. I wanted a lantern. Oh, that coffee was um, angular. Didn't render right. Excellent. Happy about the uh, soda. I knew one of the first wardens out there. I cooked for him just like I cooked for the rest of them. Got to know him pretty well, as you do with folks like that. The, that fellow could throw these questions at me over dinner. What do you think about this, about that? I mostly shrugged when he tried this on me. What did I know? But I had been doing the same cooking during the war. I was used to it. He had a good head on his shoulders. Good enough for those kinds of men anyway. But he had some funny ideas about punishment. Lots of lectures and preaching type stuff that the land would fix them. The prisoners, I mean. The Black Rock Mountain. That being in that terrible place was their mission. I never understood any of it. There it is. Yay. <laughs> cargo pants and work boots. I've got work pants, but cargo pants would be better than my jeans. And then Mackenzie's boots. These are better. I was going to rip apart the um, the sneakers, so I might do that. I might repair some clothing because I'm pretty sure the walls have done a number on my clothes. I think I can use so this. much accelerant. They really want me to never struggle to have to light a fire either. Alright. It's gonna say it must be getting dark. So let's try and do some repair. So what hat have I got? I've got one of these. A wool scarf will be better than a cotton toque. So I should probably repair that. Uh we can probably rip apart this one. We'll do our ripping apart at night time though. Let's repair what we're wearing first. Our condition's creeping up again slowly, which is good. Nice. Might get one more in before it's too dark. Ooh, blizzard. Glad I stopped. You eat soon. You're gonna eat a whole bunch. All right. Or we're gonna drink some soda. Ugh. Alright, let's do some ripping apart while it's dark. We'll have a big sleep. Get our condition back. Don't need to rip apart these. I think, um, I'd rather have warm hands, I think. Rip apart these. Might just drop the two in case I need it. I'm gonna give him nine. Even though in survival mode he'd only be able to get seven with 
that much fatigue. And a blizzard came and went, which is very nice. Thank you. And our condition is full again, because thank God for that. I don't think I've ever not noticed blood loss before. That was very funny. Not since, like, early days, anyway. The cats are here. So funny, so many sodas, so we might as well drink them. Probably be eating and drinking by weight, though, to be honest, because we're carrying so much stuff. Always a good tactic to have if you're too heavy, is just keep eating your heaviest stuff. I believe I'm still on cans, so I'm not found a pot or anything, that's funny. Alright, 38 out of 35 is not bad. Let's not go anywhere until it's properly daylight. Still very, not very bright. Alright, so what's our mission now, huh? Follow the lines. I still think I want to go get, try and get this. But that that looks like it's along the river, but not down on the frozen river. It's along. So let's leave the substation, I guess, and go right. Gotta follow the river. Seems to be. I have to figure out direction. That means that wants me to go. Uh, oh, and I keep forgetting I have the flare gun too. Flare some timbies. That'd be fun. So there's the river. Where am I facing? Yeah, I'm facing the river right now, so it wants me to go up that way. So let's get out and go. Yeah? Yeah. There's normal wolves down here, which is fine. Got a revolver, those bad boys. Why are they so keen? It's like I'm carrying meat. Hello, Innisfire. Good evening for me. Good morning for you. There's very little bass in these headphones, so everything's really tinny, so that gunshot was very, very loud. made the mistake of coming to stream without a drink today so I wanted to go grab one probably at the one hour mark nice a free fro free throwing free flowing river is always really reassuring I did like when they added this in uh, because this is the first time in the game that any of us had seen a river that wasn't frozen so, I remember it being very exciting at the time. <laughs> Still exciting now. I like it. Where am I going to get this cash? I vaguely remember doing this, so this seems accurate. Might get a spray. Trying to level out when I can. Probably not what they intended me to do, but hey. Yeah, we're pretty close. Down or up? Let's try up in case I have to crawl up here. Yeah, no good. The gun away. Keep wanting to call him Astrid. Hmm. I'm just going to keep going up. Nice view. 
see the bridge over there. Oh well. Much prefer goading with Astrid, she makes a lot less noise. Oh, I can see it, it's right there. Here it is. Could end up being useful. Ooh, a balaclava and bullets. Yay, let's put that on. You'll look insane, but that's fine. Loads of bullets now. Cool. Happy with that. All right, so now where we want to go is actually across there, but we can't get across here. We have to go all the way back down and around, so we'll probably do that. Poor Will. You're okay, buddy. I would just talk to him constantly if I played him. He's noisy. to go running into the river just you know Oz but I don't need to I've, I've seen what happens it would just be fun <laughs> there's another little thingy up here I don't I don't remember visiting them all I probably did the very first time I played but pretty sure they've all got containers or stuff It's very similar stuff in each. Lots of wood lying around. Another hatchet. It's like my third, I think, so far. Or beans. My dead wolf over there. The other guys haven't come back. I'm trying to see what temperature it is, but the um. Yeah, I don't know what direction he's coming from because the sound is all messed up. in a bug report. I was going to drop this actually. Because they always sound like they're coming from a different direction than they are. And it's really finely tuned in survival that like you can tell kind of exactly where it is. Here they just always sound like they're right, right next to me and I don't know which direction to turn. I might just start firing off warning shots. I don't know, like, I don't know if it's noticeable for you guys as well, but it's... They're really loud, and they're right there. Like, like kind of like they're right behind my... One of my ears. And then they're running at me, and I don't know which direction they are. Unless you're, like, on a flat ground and you can spin 360 and find them. Um, they're kind of hard to place. I don't know they're working on the game, so maybe some of these things will be fixed, but... Whoa. Easy does it. I like that they put in dialogue there. It's a nice touch. Alright, I'm gonna grab some of this old man's beard. I also need to make some bandages. I've used them all now. I'm gonna duck into this car for a second. So I figured I would be warm and I was right. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so if we make old man's beard. I'm gonna make the one. Hmm. It's just really off compared to what I'm what I'm used to in survival. I'm used to relying on my ears a lot. Four bandages is great. Oh, it's glitchy. So yeah, I've seen visual glitches, audio glitches. Um, mainly the audio, though. But it's like, you know, the game maybe a year ago? Before they... Split, but it's the game as it was before they split it. I don't think they've done any bug fixes or just like general kind of fixes that they've done to survival. Who went to mute? Kind of glad I didn't pick hard in survivor now. The Timbies would be much harder and the, there'd be more walls and. Violin. The size of this bullet. This is an end of the road with a bear, is it? I think it is. Yeah, I think this is where you spawn, and this is... Yeah, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I just realised where I am. I'm like, hang on. I wonder how many people are going to play like all five in a row when five comes out. Because that could be fun too, actually. It might be a fun little project over the Christmas break. I don't think I'd stream them, but I might play them all. Can't feel my hands. Yeah, you're a kid. I don't know if there is the bear here. Oh no, there he is. I was gonna say I don't think he's here. But he is. <laughs> I'm just annoying him. I don't think he's actually being hit. You don't get skill symbols in Wintermute, so. I think he would run if I hit him. There we go, I got him that time. Imagine if I just keep going and... Well, I suppose you can't because it's completely blocked. I'd, I'd have to come around and down, but still. I'm so mean. I didn't need to shoot the bear. Wrong. 
I like to taunt him when I spawn there in Interloper and I run up here. I taunt him because he sometimes sees me and he growls and I'm like, what do you think you're doing? How do you think you're going to get me? <sighs> oh well, you can climb. This is not pleasant. I would not be doing this in real life at all. I'd be like, yeah, nah, I'm finding somewhere to hole up. <laughs> Probably not surviving. So cold. Now I get to hear what his complaints are. Oh, there goes the sign. Hang on a second. <laughs> I doubt it'll stay up, but, you know, it hasn't been secured properly still, so. I need to put just a couple of hooks, like, nail them into the wall and then it'll stay. It's the stickiness of the pads, but I'm just being lazy. What region would I be willing to pass through in real life? Uh, Mystery Lake? <laughs> Milton? <laughs> if I was by myself, I'm too much of a wuss. I'd, not, I'd want to be... Probably in Mystery Lake and I'd probably have to sit to figure out how to get around the walls. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd last long in general, though, so. But, like, this is my way out right now, is this tree? It'd be like, you know. I'd probably want to go to Ravine. <laughs> but that's having context of knowing that there isn't predators in Ravine, but... Bridges, caves, mines. I can't do... Yeah, mines freak, creep me out. Like, I don't think I could cope with them in real life. Here we go, let's warm up. Just do it. Ewan's crane toy broke that he likes to play with, so I bought him a new crane online and I didn't measure it and it's so small compared to his crane that he had. But I think he'll still love it. Hang on. It's like this big, so I think the crane, yeah, unwraps, like sort of unfolds and then comes up. But it's all like, oh, there we go. Oh, it's quite cute, really. How do I get it to stay up, though? It's, it's going to be down. Oh, there's a little turny thing to make it stay up. Oh, cute. Turn it up like that. It's just like a bungee holding it tight. And then he can do that. It's not as um cool as his electronic one that broke. But, I mean, he keep, he broke it quite badly. And then he 
we kept telling him it can't be fixed and he getting really mad at us so i was like okay when you're crying oh this one you can do by hand and i pull the hook up and down and stuff i think anyway i think you'll still enjoy it even though it's not big and anyway where did i get it i uh, don't actually know it was a little site called i'm pretty sure it's come from china it was a little site called like kids faves or something i'll try and find it i'll see if i can link it later but um yeah hopefully he'll like it he's five if you don't know about my son um yeah fun oh i'm I neglected the fire so much firewood now basically gonna do the old eat the teas have a nap method oh I suppose I should probably just make some more. there we go fully warm coffee is a good idea to take some torches. I'm sleeping to kind of get a save and I don't I don't need to do that. I don't know why all of my messages are going off by the way from my bot so sorry about that. Right we're only picking up really good torches and the fires look different right? Like there's obviously got different options because they don't have the cooking menu and stuff but they've changed how the fires look slightly right? Or am I just dreaming? Like all of the changes that they've made of the game in the last while that we've all just kind of absorbed into our consciousness are not here obviously in winter okay i'm just gonna stick with this crap in. the cold glitch is still there you know how it says cold before you pick it up and then it's actually hot anyway i'm probably noticing things that aren't real No bun buns. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, I need to drop stuff. I'm five kilos over and I can't climb down. I might have to drop some food cans and stuff. Eat some food, drop some food, drop some water, drop some sticks. Yeah, I can't remember anymore. I'll have to do some comparisons. Every now and then I look at the game and I'm like, has, has it always been like that? Am I just dumb? <laughs> Am I just imagining things? box keeping me warm so I probably don't need another torch. You can throw it off which is always fun. Whee! Right let's eat heavy things. Dropping cans. Not thirsty. Okay. I don't have any more heavy food. <laughs> It's all like a hundred grams.
36. Don't need coal, really. Here we go. I have a horrible feeling there are wolves here. We'll find out. No oak trees, yeah. Now, I've gone way past where I wanted to go, obviously. That's okay. We will, um, we will double back. But yeah, let's just go to the cabin. So hopefully the bear will die. And we won't need to worry about the bear. It's not up here though, is it? Oh it is. It's up up and yeah. Thank you for the for the map and the fog, that's for sure. Oh my god, suddenly I'm heavy again. Just one stick did it. Just one stick. And my bag's too full. Just one stick. And I'm I, but I play it cool. I will make it through this game. Just one stick. You'll see. I'm have to leave something behind. We're the best. Will and me. Yay, pot. I can get rid of a pot. Pot, I can get rid of a can. If you don't know that masterpiece, that is just one look from Sunset Boulevard. I sung it at recitals as a child, despite the fact that that show is about a lady who is being pushed out of her field by her age. What do you get when you harvest a rifle? Nothing. It just disappears it from the map. Okay, well, I'm gonna take the newer one. I need to drop something. I don't care what you need to drop, buddy. We can hang out here until the fog lifts, because I'm not sure I want to travel. What's my goal with this run? This is Wintermute Episode 4, my friend. It is story mode. So my goal is story mode. <laughs> my goal is to complete Episode 4 for the third or, I think, third or fourth time. Probably just third. I might have to be here for the night. <laughs> All good. <laughs> so I have clear objectives. <laughs> You know the classic movie? Nice. Well. It's Betty Buys time, bastard. don't think he's going to get cold. I'm not Astrid, Will. I don't think he's going to get that cold, so we're just going to do little... Oh, yes, he is. Okay. Okay, we'll light the fire. Too windy to light a torch inside? Okay. Do it the fire then, please. Throw one of our accelerants at it. How funny, there's too many holes in the walls for them to use torches, apparently. Heavy. Don't like the sound this place makes. Creepy. I don't think I would like to be here for the night. Too windy to keep this lit, I bet. Any of these planks that I can chop? Nope, apparently not. Apparently you have to come here with all the firewood that you want. And it's going to make terrible noises. Okay. Cool. Cool beans. Well, we can sleep for three hours. <laughs> Planks for nothing. Creepy music is unnecessary. You'd think there would be random, more random wood, yeah. Oh, 
I also like how the game puts this place on the map is like, go see this, and there's nothing here. Oh, well, I've got another hour of firewood. It's not coal. I suppose I could use the uh, pot to make a proper... Two litres of water. Seeing I just dropped two litres of water. All twisty. Oh, I picked that up. I, I think that was a spare. Yeah. Alright. Killing time here. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. I guess I threw my last coal inside. Lovely noise, I know. Easy. Let me know if the sound balance is okay. I think the game is a little bit loud. Well, I'm gonna have to just take off at dawn, I think. Oh, fog again, really? I mean, I know I have the map, I just don't want to walk into the bear, but I guess I could just get going. Nope. Okay, good. I'm glad it sounds alright. Hungry later. Be hungry now. So, uh, there is a road down from it, apparently, and I'm supposed to be going this way, the power plant, so I suppose I could just try and go... Oh, all good, Drone. All good. Try and go the way I'm supposed to go. One thing I can do in the fog. Too much stuff to carry. Nah, you're fine. Yeah. Hey. Right. I remember the walk to the mine. Well, this is the power plant, but I remember the walk to the mine being kind of convoluted. Oh, this is a river, not a road. Oh, my bad. I misread the map.
Yeah, I knew this was coming. Oh my god, look at them all. Look at them all. Ah, shit. Oh my god, I should have just lit a second one. Here we go. I'm okay. This is very loud. I am going right. Okay. I kind of wanted to check in here first. This will come again. Oh, that went okay. But yeah, I should have lit one marine flare, thrown it, lit another one through it. I've done that before. Let's give him a minute to calm down. Yeah, I forget. Hello. Me again. So, they sent you to check on the power plant. Yeah. I mean, that's what they asked me to do. You always do what hearted criminals ask you to do? Only when they ask nicely. You know you won't be able to get the power back on, right? The issues with the power? have nothing to do with the power plant. Yes, I know. I mean, how are you so sure? Trust me. I just know. Trust you? Okay, trust goes both ways. What's your name? You can call me Jace. Okay. Nice to meet you, Jace. So what are we doing here exactly? Well, I don't know about you, but... I'm not here to work on my tan. <laughs> How do you fit into all this, Jace? Are you in trouble? That psycho Donner makes it out of solitary, and we're all in trouble, Mac. Well, it's better than Mr. McKenzie, I guess. Listen, you want to know what's going on with the power and all that? I can tell you. But first, prove yourself to me. I need your help. Where are you right now? That's not important. How did you end up at Black Rock? The car broke down when the first Aurora appeared. Well, not so much broke down as just stopped working. Like most things. It was freezing, so I got out and started walking down the road to see if I might find someone else. Or maybe some shelter. <coughs> I got turned around in the darkness and snow. Everything looked pretty much the same. Wandered for hours. Nearly froze to death. Then, I found a fence, followed it, and found a guard tower. Next thing I knew, I heard gunshots. It was horrible. The shots were, there were so many. I waited half an hour, longer, crept up, and I could see them slumped against the wall. Blood everywhere. It was guards, prison workers, civilians, innocents. They had executed them. I had to get out, but I know the area a bit. There's nowhere to go, really. Not on foot. I don't know if anyone's coming to help, but I figure... 
I gotta do what I can to keep those fuckers locked up. <laughs> Donner, he is evil. If he gets out, nobody within a hundred clicks of this place will be safe. And if this thing lasts as long as I think it will, that would be very, very bad for all of us. My lantern's gonna run out. What do you mean, if this lasts as long as you think it will? Do you know something about what's going on? Never mind. I just know stuff, okay? Or suspect it. Sounds like you think it's more than just lights in the sky. It's not more than lights in the sky. And yet, it is. That's pretty cryptic. My lemon. Let me focus on Blackrock, okay? What's the situation with Donner? I guess you don't follow the news much, huh? Donner's a psychopath. They have a law about something, this guy's broken it. I hear his old man Mathis isn't much better. But Donner, Donner is a once in a generation criminal. Yeah. I can confirm that Mathis is not father of the year. <laughs> Wait, you know him? He's how I ended up here. It's a long story, but yeah. He's here to break Donner up. Shit, shit, shit. This is worse than I thought. What's the worst that can happen if he gets out? He gets stuck out in the wilderness and freezes to death. Or gets eaten by something. Wrong. Donner gets out. He will make it his personal mission to find and hurt every living human he can get his hands on between Blackrock and the mainland. Just for shits and giggles. You worried about anyone in particular? Never mind that. We gotta keep him in lockdown. I look forward to learning more about That's her. the only thing that matters right now. Okay. So. How are we gonna make sure he stays in solitary? Trust. That's how we're gonna keep him in. You wanna prove you're trustworthy? I mean. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. What's in it for you? I don't much like Mathis. And he's got something I need. What is it? A metal case. What's in it? I'm not I, really sure. I don't know. He didn't okay. tell me. Trust goes both ways, right? I'm not hiding anything from you. I really don't know. So then, just leave. Get out of here. Leave Black Rock and let the chips fall where they may. I can't. I need it. If you don't know what's inside the case, how do you know you need it? It's important to someone who's important to me. And they were ready to die for it. So I need to get it back. Right. Well, maybe we can help each other. You do something for me. And I'll find a way to help you with your little problem. Deal? I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but <laughs> yeah. Deal. Okay, listen up. Even with the power out, there are physical mechanisms that the convicts can manipulate to get Donner out. I mean, they are more... Hang on, why does it say my reverb's on? I don't think it is. I think the symbol's just turned on. Here we go. Just double check. I'm not echoey, right? Yeah, no, it's not on. Okay. Even morons get lucky sometimes. We need to fix things so they can't accidentally break them out. We need to go smash some shit. How do we do that? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, a lot of the original structure and prison systems are probably Victorian era. Solitary. It's newer. But the stuff under solitary? Still old as shit. Alright. How does that help us? We get underneath. And we bust up the systems that manage the locking and unlocking mechanisms. And we basically... Well, we turn the gates into walls. We seize up the system... And it's so old, so heavy, it'd take a goddamn nuclear bomb to break them out. Let's hope. You don't have a nuclear bomb, do you? Steam tunnels. Steam tunnels, right. What about steam tunnels? You get into the old steam tunnels. You'll find an access door in the rock face just outside the power plant. Other side of the spillway. According to these blueprints, they lead you... More or less, right to the old locking mechanisms under solitary. More or less? 
Well, there are some stains on the map. And a few areas that are a little fuzzy engineering-wise. I mean, it's old. <laughs> but yeah, eventually you'll get to the locking mechanism. Okay. And then what? Smash him. You tear out or smash anything that looks remotely like a switch, fuse, panel, cable, wire, vacuum tube. You get it? Yeah, I get it. Sabotage the thing. Exactly. My lantern's dying, exactly. you can see it. And Donner is locked in for good. I don't um, think I have enough lantern fuel for this. Probably. This conversation is very long. Hey, I'm not a prison designer, okay? But yeah, as I read these blueprints, probably. Okay. Wish me luck. I mean, it'll definitely buy us some time. I think. I'm going now, Jace. Hang on. What? <laughs> Good luck. Um, I have some lantern fuel, but I left the rest of it back okay. at back at base. So, oh, I've got fifty-five. Okay. I'll probably find some now, hopefully. Capable. Middle of the road. What if I take this just in case? Nah, you're not dropping nothing. I do like how we have the warden here. We have a bear and a wolf warning. Yikes. Probably better, but hope I can still eat this. All right, let's get rid of some stuff. Get a little bit of weight off would be good. Ah, uh, you find it in a one of the mission things, one of the cash boxes or something. Yeah, he's looking crazy. Actually, am I carrying? Oh, 35, 6, just over. Oh, okay. Alright. Remember what Jace said. So, I know the Steam Puzzle solution, because I've played this a bunch of times, um, but also because um, I remember it, it's like close, open, open, close, open, open, close, open, or something like that. Like, it's, I know it's closed, open, open, closed, twice. I don't remember what the last one is. But I remember it really being re really repetitive, so I just kind of memorized it. So we'll see if that actually helps me at all. Remembering that. But. We will try and do it also by our brain. I did watch a video the very first time because. Oh, I didn't watch a video. Yeah, oh no, I must have watched a video. I remember a YouTube video. And I just got like the start of it and then went, oh, and closed it. But then the next time I was like, oh, I'm just looking this up again. But a lot of people have to Google it, yeah. Loot! Staff reports instances of pressure loss when drawing power for internal detention cell control, notably in segregation units 4 to 7. Check for adequate thermal regulation at steam junctions and valve switches. 
and C to scheduling any repairs as needed. Oh, air wrap. Nice. I'm not sure I can carry much more. No one cares, Wilbur. It is slightly better than mine. It's one percent better than mine. I'm taking it. <laughs> yeah, most people I think um, have have googled it, and I think even they have admitted it's to um, it's a bit complicated. Wonder if I can drop any of this. The dripping gear. sounds are a bit much. Magic. So that's what I want to open. And you gotta go down here. I could use this. So many energy bars. I think you have to go around. Okay. Okay. I think there's six here normally. There's six. Close, open, open, close. Okay, we are open. In the green, that's in the green. Is that enough? No. Yes, no. Okay. Okay, I've, I've misremembered something. That's fine. Closed. Open. Open. Maybe this closes? There we go. Okay. Okay. Now this one's red, you can open this one. And then I gotta follow these ones around to... Oh, that's right, I can get hurt, can't I? this okay so what's hot around here this one that needs to be open so that'll direct it through both of these do I want it through both of these I want it to go along the top so I don't want it to go down I want it to just go along the top okay 
So this one. That one's frozen. Okay, so. That one's frozen. Okay, so maybe we do open this one. Okay, bye! I know, hang on. That'll come in handy. So then this is the other one we have to open to get going. And that gets thawed out. Oh, from the big one. Okay. Okay. What have we here? I like the shirt, but I don't think it's as warm as the, <laughs> the jumper. So, we need to do the one I was at. That's where I came in. if we send it all this way yeah that's it okay close this so it doesn't all escape out the top i think i'm doing it right so then it all puts all the pressure into here you can open this one and then that'll go doors out here but we want it to go up and around so do we just that's frozen so Sending it this way and down, around to here. Do I want this closed then so it sends it up? I think I'm getting the logic of this again. Now what am I closing to get more pressure?
Now, okay, so it wanted me to close and then open. Okay, so then we open this one. Okay. Now it should flow around this one. I think he's putting the torch down. It's like a clunking noise. And that should flow around. Through here. And down to the big thing. And then I can open this. Okay, so I only had to memorize the first part of the puzzle from last time. And then I kind of remember the second part of the puzzle. I don't know how much this hurts you or not. I can't remember. I'm just being cautious. torches have I got? I'm conscious I might need to make this fire. I've got flares. Up a lot. Yay, okay. Well, we can do that when this torch runs out. I can't remember what there is to find in here, other than obviously getting to the final room. Container. Might as well light every lantern. It's creepy in the sounds of the the pulsing sounds of the equipment. Off putting. Guessing they're trying to build tension, but it's like, mm -hmm. don't like tension. So we need to unfreeze. We need to open up this one. Yeah, we're hoping, um, the Hobbits were hoping to play Phasmo 
on uh, November 2nd our time during the day um, but otherwise I might play something I'm not really into spooky though as you can tell I can't even cope with TLD tension so I doubt I'm gonna be able to <laughs> cope with anything else but um, I might play a spooky story game that doesn't have like you know jump scares and monsters <laughs> I'm too much of a wuss How do I fall out that pipe? This one here. To figure out how to do this last step. So follow the cold pipe all the way around. Okay, well you said a positive thing, so that's good. Yeah, there'll be quite a few things that I think Steam will probably release. Did I go down that one? Yeah, that's the one I've been down, right, yeah. Um, around the time. Steam's usually quite good at being like Halloween games. So hopefully there'll be some fun stuff. Okay, so that's the door I've just opened. I just need to figure out what valve I'm missing. Closed that one. Oh no, that is red now. It is red now. Okay. My bad. So I just need to keep directing it along by opening all the valves. Oh no, okay, okay, okay. It's a closing it is directing it. That's the thing. It's the opposite of what you expect it to do. Everything's red warm now. That's good. I like watching horror games. I'm a big fan. I've always, for years, watched people play horror games. Big fan of John Wolfe, Gab Smolders. Love watching people play horror games. Get freaked out when I play them myself. Get, I just find it way too tense. Like, this is making me tense. The Last of Us makes me tense, and that's not that hard. And I know where all the jump scares are there. Yeah, so I'm not great with them, but I do really enjoy watching other people play them. Let me in. So what do I have to do? I've I've totally forgotten. But the valve's open now. It's it's.
Maybe I'm smash I'm doing something from the other side. Oh wow, I know I have to go back at least, so we have to go back. To not like, neglect Will, even when he's crawling through steam tunnels. Maybe you'll have to go all the way out. Yes. I remember now. Silly me. Break the machine. but I feel like I should get out of here. I'm in the prison now though, that's the problem. This will come in handy. Lock a key, yay. It's daytime, I keep thinking it's nighttime. I should just light them all and then they're just there for me when I come back, but I don't think it matters. I'm definitely going to go back to the um, barracks and open whatever is in lockbox 8. I feel like I should kill all the wolves in here so that I don't have to worry about it. I can just come in and out of here, but I think I've killed a couple of them already. It's very quiet. Right, so I'm just gonna stand. Because he sounds like he's behind me. He's actually to my left. Very odd. Oh. And now it sounds like he's running off to my left and he ran over there. So double check my headphones aren't in the wrong way I'm pretty sure they're not but this was happening the other day too that they sounded like they were in the wrong place I'm just going to swap them over but they don't fit well this way I don't want to be this way They don't have R and L on them because they were just so dirt cheap. 
And they don't fit in my ears properly like that, so yeah, I highly doubt that they are in the wrong ears. I don't really need to, but let's go sit there. He'll die. Which will mean that all the... I think all the wolves over there will be dead. Which is good. Which one's eight? This one. I could use this. Probably could because mine's only 53%. Nice. 51 bullets. I might as well just shoot the balls from now on. Shoot everything from now on. Turn to black rock. Uh, there's a wolf to kill. There's power workers to find. Oh, they're over the other side. I might as well carry on a bit more of the story. The main story. So let's go back out and dump our stuff. And go visit the guys. It's 5 to 10. I might wrap up in about 22 minutes. I need to think of what else I want to do. Just in case. <laughs> you hear him die. I struggle his struggle see the blood looks weird Yes. So I'm going to go out to the gate post again and dump all my stuff in the locker. Anytime you go see them at all, you need to drop everything. Because they go, sorry, I'm going to have to search you. And they take all your stuff. It's full. Doo -doo. I should have just put my clothes in here. That's what I did last time. Then you can just get dressed real quick. No other way. Here we go. Light as a feather. Because any quest items you have on you, like what they when they got you the medicine, that's all in your quest items, magical inventory. Oh, are we still with the music? Still alive. Shit. Looks like I lost that bet. Any luck with the job Mattis gave you? I made it to the power plant. The whole place is dead. Nothing obvious to be done to get it running again. Too bad. Mattis will be disappointed. Oh well. Back in your cage, Doug. So that's him searching me, but I didn't say it that time. Hours later. <laughs> hey, call me now. Nice hey, to see you. You awake yet? Get up on it. Yep, I'm here. Any luck at the power plant? If by luck you mean I managed to not get the power back up and running, then yeah, you could say I had some luck. 
You found them, didn't you? Whoever's out there messing up Mathis's plans? Not really. But I spoke to them again. Whoever they are, they really don't like Donner. Well then, we have to do whatever we can to help them. We're trying, but Okay. We're trying. But how? Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> we have to find a way to slow Mathis down. A little hard to do that from inside a cell. Maybe not. Quick, get back. Well, well. Look what my guys found while investigating the old parts of the prison. Someone is seriously fucking with me. Someone who clearly knows more about this prison than they should. Knew exactly what to sabotage to keep us from getting into solitary. You know anything about this, pilot? Nope. I have no idea what that is. Sure, I figured as much. Whoever did this took a big risk and went through a lot of effort. For nothing. Ad break coming. We found another way Warning. in. Ad break a coming. A big ass key that will unlock the door to solitary. Or any other door we want. It's called dynamite. Damn it, Mathis. Haven't you done enough to my prison? Shut your mouth! I'll deal with you later. Listen, pilot. Dynamite. It's time to get back to work. What now? Detonators. Can't do shit with this dynamite unless we find detonators. Since we found the dynamite in one of the machine sheds, the detonators should be around somewhere. Of course, we can't find them. So, I'll probably have to go a few more rounds with my friend the warden here to find out where they are. You just sit tight, and I'll tell you when I'm done. You may want to plug your ears. I don't like them beating up the guy. There's Thank no you, Nan. Come on, Warden. It's very kind Don't of you. My fun. The detonators. That dynamite is old. We kept it in storage because we didn't have very a safe kind. way to Thank get it you. back to the mainland. That's a nice story. Wait, wait. But I know where you can find some. I'm listening. Old mine. In the hills, just above the prison. It was shut down suddenly for safety reasons after the quakes, but most of the gear was left up oh, there. Oh, the mine. I bet there are some detonator caps up there. Interesting. You heard the man. Get going. Yeah, dog. Time to get back out there. Yeah, dog. Wait. Matt is just... Leave him alone. I'll do it. I'll be quick. You better hurry up, pilot. I think Mathis wants to let off some steam. Wait. Yeah. Mathis. That last line was weird. Wait, he said it didn't sound like he was. It sounded like the wrong tone. But anyway. Chapter three, the detonators. Definitely not doing the story part of it at the moment. I'm going to try and do some side questy things for another 15 ish minutes. And they've dumped me right outside the door in a blizzard. What a blizzard. It's a very, very dark. Right. Very dark. I'm gonna follow the gate until I reach the gatehouse. Here we go, here's my clothing. Right. So we're gonna do the old trick of giving, giving him everything and then taking it away. I give if then I take it away. Might need to make some torches and some water anyway, so we'll just use this time to make a fire. Um, three stints. Um, people in your spot? What's your spot? Arrow you don't need. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Beefy's coming to complain, everybody. The corner under the TV screen. Is that oh that's your spot? Okay. And they, they should have known that. How dare they? Oh my gosh, it's 18 degrees. <laughs> I think it got to 14 degrees today. Oh, you sit there. You sit there while you're at stream. Okay. All right. Well, then, yes, I agree with you that that is, inc then that is very rude. <laughs> How dare they interrupt your stream time. Oh, I hope your mum's okay, Druid. Welcome back. Well, the water didn't finish because I didn't wait. How dare they, Goofy? The audacity. Tell them I say the audacity. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Turned out pretty well. Sure did. She just needed water. Okay. Good. I've had yummy morning teas all week. Because I organized them, and that was one of my jobs this week. <laughs> Among all the other million things I had to do. <laughs> but yes, we had a lovely big lunch at work today, which was good. Heat up my coffees. Had yummy pastries and things. Spent a bunch of the money, company money, but you know. Oh, yum. Yeah, I like the... They have these really yummy apple custard Danish pastries um, at the supermarket by my work. Five men, all serving life sentences at Blackrock Penitentiary, reportedly escaped the prison grounds last month. Authorities revealed the escape in a leaked memo acquired by a coalition of media outlets currently investigating Canadian correctional facilities. Of the five, one returned on his own, one was found dead, and three remained missing. Prison officials seemed confident all three also died navigating the rough terrain that surrounds the notorious prison, according to the leaked memo. I think that's the finding the bodies thing that you can do. It's not, it's, it's not triggering a mission. So maybe not. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, yeah, they, they can handle it, even though we've been asked to cut costs at the moment. Um, the, um, I'm working from home tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. I have work too, unfortunately, but yeah. Ah. Yeah, so, um, there's quite a lot going on next week, and I still have to pop in later in the day to do something, but, um, I, yeah, I am... I'm gonna be here for the morning at least. I'm very happy. What's that? Hey, stranded on earth. Thank you for the rain. Welcome in. You're stranded. Let's give you a shouty. Good to see you guys. Welcome in, welcome in. We're doing the story mode of the long dark um tonight. Episode four, if you've ever played it before. Um and um we're like two thirds of the way through, I think. I haven't done all of the side quests though. That's gonna take a while. But good to see you. What were you up to? Phasmo. Nice. Well, it is October. It's time to play Phasmo. 
going to be hopefully playing it uh, early next month, well, like on the 1st of November. Um, so, yeah, very, very nice to see you. Thank you for bringing some friends my way. I'll go back to it. Was there long dark? Right. Uh, speaking of which, let's figure out where we want to go. Oh, this is the Lost Power Workers here. Oh my god, there's so many things. I kind of want to go here. But there's obviously one right here, so... Oh! <laughs> it's all good. So where is it just here? Like, just down the river here? Yeah, Goofy, you're absorbing. You're absorbing your Catalan. <laughs> dead guy over there I want to go look at. <gasps> Welcome back. Thank you. I was just saying thank you very much for bringing some friends my way. That's very kind. I hope you're well. And you had fun playing Phasmo. Tis the season to be spooky. I'm hoping to play it on the 1st of November with some friends. Haven't played it in ages. Yeah, nice to see ya. Thank you so much. What have we here? As Will would say. I see dead prison guards. Oh, here they are. Oh, it's so morbid. These guys all here. Oh. This is just terrible. Can't tell if anyone made it. Well, obviously they didn't make it, Will. Uh, good, this is the story mode. We are just messing with um, messing with episode 4 because um, episode 5 is supposed to be end of this year. And um, what stash? And um, I'm predicting it'll be the first week of December because they like to release things then and then they let their team go on holiday. So I'm predicting it'll be then. So I thought, you know what, I should replay episode four not too far away from episode five so that i remember what the heck is happening yeah but i'm relying heavily on the map which i normally don't um but i don't know black rock very well so i'm actually just like what direction am i facing am i going the right way it's quite fun okay so we need to get down to the river to find this dead person. This missing guy is down there. Okay. Oh, nice! Yeah. I've played it a few times. They have lied to us, but really says absolutely. But they've been saying they split the team deliberately, and then they've been saying it all year long. So I kind of am trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that they're actually going to deliver. I'm going to work out where I'm going to get down. I don't want to, like obviously I could go to. <laughs> yes, absolutely they underestimate it, but they've got a like that, that team is that's in their entire focus. You know, so I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic that that means that they might actually make it work. But again, if they don't, they don't. They can, you know. As long as they give us enough notice that it's going to be early next year, then I will let them, I will give, give them, I will let them off. being up here no this stuff will come in handy. 
Oh my god, the game has given me about five hatchets. The episode, I mean. Yeah, I can't get mad at them. I know some people get very worked up about it, but I find it very hard to get mad at them. For the the pure joy this game has given me. What kind of wolfies are you? You look like you might be boring ones. Let's hope. Can't be bothered. Yes, exactly. The whole we are a studio that work with that crunch thing. I've always liked that, so. Oh yeah, okay. We'll get down that way. Yeah, like... For years we just got, um, like, updates to keep the game quality going without paying a single cent more. So... And I work at a tech company now, and crunch is not nice. And we're not very crunchy, but there are times where we definitely are expected to work much later than we should be. Okay, so this is the little bridge here that'll get me to Cook's Farm. But if I go to the left, I think that's the climbing point, isn't there? It'll take me down to the river. And I mean, I've waited years now, but there are very definitely people who are very mad that episode 5 is the reason that they got the game. You know, the, the story is the reason that they bought the game originally, and they're a casual player and they don't want to play. Um, they don't want to play survival, they're not that interested in it. Um, and they're just annoyed that their game has never been finished. So I can kind of understand that. Um, but yeah, the fact that console is now... Yeah, this nah, it's it is not working. I played five years on PS4. Very passionate about this game on PlayStation 4. I think it's fantastic. But also... You know, it's it, it doesn't work. Oh, I actually need to go this way. Look at his arms, he's like... My 250-something game, day game on console, I had to abandon. And I never bought the DLC on console, so I don't have it. Um, which means that my games have been wiped, but I don't have any of the new shit, so... I would have to discount it quite a lot for me to excuse me, buy the DLC on console as well, seeing I've Bought the game three times. Bought the game three times already because I had to buy it on my husband's account, my account, and PlayStation. So yeah, I'm, I'm not buying the DLC twice. As much as I love them. I'm... That's the power company ID of the worker. Hmm. <laughs> Pasha Iglesias, uh, no. Well, not where I live. It doesn't snow at all. But down south it snows. Definitely snows a few, few times a year. Keep writing. Writing helps give me focus, and focus keeps me still. I can't remember why I'm here, what I do, or who this woman is. I think we work together? I know her, I think. She watches me scribble the stuff down, but she smiles. Does she know? I try and watch her work on the machines when I wake up and copy her movements when she goes to bed. She tells me things, but they fade unless I write them down. Like the wind picks them up and takes them far away. I keep seeing a river in my head, rushing water to the edge of something, into a deep, foggy place. I just can't remember anymore. Yeah, that's the guy who went a bit loopy. Yeah. Sad. My husband got it for me on sale when he bought me the last copy, but I paid full price. I'm pretty sure on PlayStation. I probably bought it on sale for a little bit off, but not definitely not much off. So, I've given them a lot of money, but I would give them more. Like it, it's the content I've had for the money is 
is really, you know, really good. It's not in your country right now. That's nice. Where do you live? Spring in New Zealand, so it's very uh, pretty with all the blossoms and stuff around me at the moment, and all the birds are singing. It's very nice. In Russia. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go back up. If we go across to Cook's, we could probably go and grab this cash. Oh, I haven't been to Bricklayers yet. That's a good point. I need to get to this side of the map again next time. But I, I think I'll just do this one. And then I'll probably log off tonight. No worries. Thanks again for the raid, Stranded. It was nice to see you. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, Goofy. But at least they know, you know, you were able to actually have a conversation about it. Are they going to do anything? Too much stuff. Get rid of this. So, yeah, you go from cooks and you just kind of like go straight, really, and you're at Foreman's. Yeah. Ah, oh, without giving you any notice? That does. That's not cool. stuff I dropped here. Oh, did they put like a safety thing on it so it can't be opened fully? You jerks. Oh my god, I'm trying to change to the flares. Sorry, everybody. Trying to get this arrow. Wow, that was only a couple of them then. Took the morale off really quick. I was going to get this arrow, that's what I was doing. I can't take both. <laughs> You tried three times to repair your ceiling? <laughs> Let him know when you get new stuff. So are they going to move your room then, Goofy? I know you didn't want to move, but if your ceiling leaks and they can't fix it, you should move. Oh, I know, right? The pe the the fact that it's not a different button for the revolver. I'm always shooting it. The <laughs> water pours through the ceiling like your tears. Yeah, I mean that's your that's your private space, so I totally get it. So where is it from here? Like up there somewhere. Okay, let's take a moment in here. Yes, you can throw the blue the blue flare the blue flares are the ones they're scared of. So yeah, if you throw that at them they will 
it will damage their morale. It doesn't work as well in survival mode. It works best in story mode. It's it's really effective in story mode. In, in uh, survival mode, it works pretty well, but the morale meter definitely isn't as effective. In my opinion. Yes, yeah, so I would just keep keep talking about it, Goofy, and and but I think you should probably consider moving rooms. And I know you said you didn't want to because you're settled in and everything, but I would consider it. I really think you should. Yeah, survival mode. They're like, nah, I'm good. Oh, I know that's really mortifying for you, Goofy, but I assure you he probably isn't as bothered bothered by it as you think. I think I have to go all the way up and around somehow. I'm going to encounter more jerks doing that. Yeah, but it's not about them giving you the option. It's, I know that they've met, it was, you thought it might be an option before. And it's, it's about you demanding it, to be quite honest. You don't have to be given the option. You, Oh my god, the sign just fell down again. Get the shit out of me. It's about you demanding it and saying, I can't live in a room where the ceiling links all year round. It doesn't matter if they're full. They need to, well, if they're not full, they need to do something about it. And if they are full, then they can tell you, really sorry, we're full and we can't fix it. But... I would be like, well, can you at least tell me if there's an option for me to have a room that the ceiling doesn't fall in? Anyway, I'm just being sassy today because I'm sick of work shit. <laughs> I'm need to go to bed. <laughs> I need to find this box. So I'm going to bed. So I'm getting that sassy, then obviously I'm getting tired. Yeah, so it's down, it's it's half, it's on half, one sticky thing now, the other sticky thing's falling down. I will get proper hooks for it next time. Well, no, that's, no. They can say, we'll move you to this room, but it will cost you more, and you can say, why is it costing me more? I am being moved because you guys can't fix my ceiling. You can always say no. I won't move then if they insist on charging you. Bam. No, Goofy. Well, I know it you. seems hard, but you have to do it. You have to do it too. You have to learn how to do it because if you don't do it and you let your mum do it, because I know because I did this in my 20s quite a lot, I let my mum do things for me and I let her shout at people for me and make calls for me to people I didn't want to make calls to and all this sort of stuff. And it just meant that I didn't have any sort of um, ability to do it for myself. So, it's really sucks, but unfortunately sometimes you got to be the grown-up. And you are a grown-up now. I'm sorry that, that you are. I, I, I don't like being one either. Alright, I might get to Bricklayers. And then, uh, log off. Though I know I can save anywhere. It doesn't really matter. I just don't want to boot up the game next time and go, What am I doing? Where am I? Why am I up the hill? It's right ahead, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yep, we all just have to pretend. Sadly. There better not be a moose in story mode at Bricklayers that I'm about to run into. 
But hey, in story mode, maybe the flare gun will work on him. Doesn't work anymore in survival mode. Coming out of the fog, look. Are we punching to teeth in story mode? <laughs> I don't think moose exists in story mode. I was talking to, about this the other night to Druid, but I don't think moose exists in story mode because in episode 5 they're gonna make us shoot one. Like the bear doesn't exist in story mode. In uh, barely ever in episodes one and two because of the old bear they want the old bear to be the only bear so yeah they i don't believe they're a moose in story mode that'll come in handy combat pants I need repairing there is an ad break coming i'm gonna hit snooze because i'm about to wrap up and there's no point in me running an ad Yes, please. Nice. Now you look fabulous, Will. Excuse me. Could end up being useful. It won't. You're not taking it. You want this to be a yeah. A duke. I'm getting rid of what I have. Oh, more bow, more arrows. Nice, and another bow. Nah, I was gonna say, I think mine's better. All right, well, let's start a fire and then we can save. Um, Not gonna be able to carry this load for much gosh, longer. Gosh, your pretty little mouth, Mister. See, we just found a uh, celerant. Looks like it worked. <laughs> Can't see anything out there. Do -do. Leave some matches behind. It's always ludicrous to me. Leave a stim behind. I definitely, definitely don't need four stims. Um, I'm gonna leave the toque. Probably get rid of this one. Uh, I definitely don't need two bows. Yeah, alright. I mean, we're, we're overweight. We're overweight. We're quite a bit overweight, but um, we're all good. So I'm just going to hit save. Um, and overwrite my replay. Make sure it saves, and let's go to the chat screen. And, uh... Quit that bad boy. So yeah, see, look. <laughs> cool, <Kobu. laughs> That's fine. Let's put the music back on. Let's find someone to raid. Thanks for hanging out with me, friends. It was fun. I will be back to Last of Us probably next week. I just didn't have it in me today. <laughs> Nuke is on. I've been on for 20 minutes. 11 viewers. Sold do it um all right i'll be back on the weekend um don't know what i'll be playing might be this might be that i pick up last of us then my hair is enormous it is big and full of secrets uh thank you very much for the raid from stranded on earth why is that there an ad break in progress i snoozed it anyway call me nard for the gift of bumblebee very kind and burb for the resub and icky smalls for the follow thank you for coming along and joining the chorus See you guys on the weekend. Have a great couple of days. Uh, keep all your fingers crossed that everything works out for my <laughs> event that I'm running next week that I have to finalize things for tomorrow. Uh, or my head might explode tomorrow. I might just go kablam. I might not be here. I might be a headless lady. All right. Bye. Take care, everybody. Bye.